a high profile drug case and Bollywood superstar Shah Rukh Khan's son Aryan Khan at the center of the storm. High drama unfolded as the details of the case emerged, but today Aryan Khan has been given a clean chit after he was not named as an accused in an exhaustive charge sheet filed by the NCB. Here is a timeline of the entire case. The Narcotics Control Bureau raided a Cordelia cruise where they seized a variety of drugs and detained many people, including 23-year-old Aryan Khan. Aryan Khan, along with his friend Arbaz Merchant and Munmun Dhamecha, were among the 20 accused arrested in the case. They were produced in front of the magistrate, then sent to a one-day NCB remand. The drugs agency claimed to have found evidence linking Aryan, Arbaz and Munmun to international drug trafficking. The agency sought further custody and all three were sent to further remand till October 7. The NCB sought an extension of remand, but the request was denied. Aryan and the others were sent to a 14-day judicial custody by the court. Aryan and Arbaz were lodged in Arthur Road Jail. Aryan's lawyer, Satish Man Shinde, applied for bail. A sessions court in Mumbai rejected the bail applications. The lawyers of all the three accused then moved the special NDPS court. The NDPS court asked NCB to file its reply on October 13. The court heard the arguments from both sides, but the lawyers of Aryan and other accused again sought bail, while the NCB opposed it. The special NDPS court rejected Aryan Khan's bail petition. Their lawyers then moved the Bombay High Court. Shah Rukh Khan visited Arthur Road Jail to meet his son Aryan. <laughs> Arguments continued for three days in the Bombay High Court. The NCB opposed the plea while former Attorney General Mukul Rohati, along with others, argued in favour of bail for Aryan Khan. The Bombay High Court granted bail to Aryan Khan, Arbaz Merchant and Munmun Dhamecha. Bail formalities and the necessary paperwork was completed. Shah Rukh Khan's friend and actor Juhi Chavla stood as surety for Aryan before the special court. Aryan Khan was released from jail at 11 o'clock. At Mannath, he was welcomed by fans and supporters. Until November, the case was being investigated by the NCB Mumbai Zone. However, in November 2021, the case was taken over by a special investigation team of the NCB in Delhi after lapses emerged in the probe. Samir Vankhere's term ended. He was initially the officer in charge of the case. Vankhere was often at loggerheads with Maharashtra Minister Nawab Malik owing to his allegedly targeted drug strive against Bollywood. The SIT sought some more time to file the charge sheet in the case and the NDPS court granted 60 days. In a critical turn, a key witness of the case, Prabhakar Sahil, died of a heart attack. He had claimed that there was a monetary deal inside the NCP to arrest Aryan Khan. Sahil was the bodyguard of NCP witness KP Gosavi and alleged that Gosavi discussed a 25 crore payoff deal after Aryan's arrest. Aryan Khan cleared of all charges in the drugs case over which he spent 22 days in jail.